It's news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. My brother in Amdekanu that you have won one billion naira. Remember those of us who are not insulting you, Sonny. A former lawmaker who represented the good people of Cardinal Central Sanitaria District, Sheu Sonny has taken to his official Facebook handle to call on his brother in Amde, saying that he has won one billion and he should not forget people like him, Sheu Sonny, who did not insult him. While sharing uh, on his official Facebook handle, the president of the Civil Rights Congress of Nigeria, Sheu Sonny, also made it known that when he, that is in Amdekanu, is out, he will tell him the names of is open and eating enemies. And these were the words of Sonny, uh, Shehu Sonny, you know, after it was said that the court had actually ruled and uh, for in the favor of Inamdekanu to be paid one billion naira. However, it was also said by uh, Shega. Shega happens to be a human rights activist as well and also a lawyer who had actually of recent given uh, his opinion saying that the painful part is that regardless of how much the judgment sum is, it won't be paid by the state because the judgment uh, creditor will still need the consent of the Attorney General of the Federation to enforce the judgment, saying that state actors will continue to infringe on the rights of citizens because of this loophole, knowing fully well that those who manage to survive the court process will never get justice. And he knows that this sounds like Greek to most, but this everybody must know and know peace. That the main reason why most people are agitating for secession and others taking up arms against the state is simply because of injustice and the culture of impunity. That the government cannot continue to be a judge in their own case, neither can the rule of law continue to be denigrated. And these were the words of uh, Sega, and uh, you know, hoping that the one billionaire that has been ruled in the favor of Mazen Amdekano will be paid for real. Uh, that ruled the country for about 16 years, the president and his party. I've never failed to point an accusing finger at PDP for everything that goes wrong in the country. From mismanagement of public funds to an unprecedented corruption from abandonment of several projects to depletion of foreign reserve, PDP has been named to virtually bad, uh, every bad thing you know, that is happening to the country. It was on this note, the president was quick to say that each time he hears the name PDP, what comes to his mind is failure. President Muhammad Buhari told Maokwe Ogun and Shion Okimbaloye while rounding off the special interview that was conducted for him in Asurok recently. And, uh, you know, this was after, uh, after the uh, interview that, that came over to the social media where different reactions began to swirl from, you know, PDP stakeholders and some other PDP members as well, where Governor Otom Wiki actually, uh, you know, said that, you know, the president does not know what he's saying, that he, his administration is actually what is meant to be called, you know, total failure. Political observations that the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, good luck, Billy Jonathan, and the incumbent vice president would probably decide to join the presidential race come 2023. Although neither former president Goodluck Ibele Jonathan nor the vice president himself, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, has made it known to the public that they would vie for the presidential seat of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2023. But the fact remains that, despite the sensitivity of the perception, none of former president Ibele Jonathan or Yemi Oshibanjo has convincingly denounced their possibility of participating in the much anticipated polls. However, if by the way, both former governor, uh, president rather, good lucky Billy Jonathan, and the incumbent vice president, Yemi Oshibanjo, decides to join the 2023 presidential race, has been perceived, it will surely have strategic effect on the support of the Netherlands for either of the candidates. While some Netherlands may be seen uh, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo as a gentleman who could easily be convinced in the course of playing the likes of Northern politics, former President Gulok Ebile Jonathan could be seen as an experienced former president who had previously held the position, learned his lessons, and may not want to be played out politically again. Besides, some Northerners may be of the opinion that their support for former President Gulok Ebile Jonathan could be considered as a shortcut 
to the Netherlands return to power while their support for President Yemi Oshibanjo may delay the proximity of Northerners to come back to power around 2031, considering the ethnics of two terms as permitted by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Consequently, there may be higher you know, considerations as regards the issue where the chances of the Northerners to throw support behind former President Ibili Jonathan is actually you know, high, and if the number of years he would spend in power is put into consideration, they probably would actually support good luck Ibili Jonathan. The Buhari led administration keeps making records in the army, uh, in the army of the Nigerian military, and coming just a few months after it supplied quite a number of mine resistant ambush protected MRAP uh, vehicles to the Nigerian army. The Buhari led administration has recently made another history by supplying another set of CSVP3 Bigfoot MRAP multipurpose armored vehicles to them so as to enhance their conquest of insurgents and other violent criminal groups. The new military adduit were supplied on the 19th of November 2021 and have since been inducted into the Nigerian Army ordinance, after which they were deployed for combat operations against insurgents and the Nazis, as well as against bandits in the other parts of the country. With these continuous military supplies by Buhari administration, that has become essential to point out that the administration has made Nigerian history about uh, being the best in equipping and arming the country's soldiers, which is an essential element in motivating the troops to serve the nation with all their art. The new artillery guns for Nigerian army to equip and uh, re-energize the military establishment for optimum performance in securing the territorial integrity of the country. President Muhammadu Buhari administration has brought a new set of artillery guns for the Nigerian army and the new artillery guns were inducted into the armor, armory of the Nigerian army on the 19th of December 2020 at the headquarters of the Nigerian Army School of Artillery, NASA, in Kakia, Kaduna State, after which they were deployed against insurgents and other violent groups in the part of the country. Overall, it is very patriotic step taken by the Buhari administration in equipping and modernizing the Nigerian's military establishment that has suffered long neglect from the previous administration. Yet, out of school children uh, figure is witnessing a massive rise of funds everywhere. We can't travel in peace. The economy is crumbling. People are born while traveling. The protesters march from Audubaku secretariat to the Kanu uh, you know, government house, where security operatives receive the group of protesters, listen to them and promise to take the matter further to the appropriate quarters. Meanwhile, following the recent spike in terror attacks in Sukuto and Katsina State, President Muhammad Buhari has dispatched a high-level delegation made up of heads of national intelligence uh, and security services to the two states. According to a statement by the President's Senior Special Assistant of Media and Publicity, Gaba Shew on Friday, Buhari expects the delegation or, uh, to, represent, to present an immediate situation report and recommendations on actions to follow to effectively deal with the worrying situation.